Hi. My name is Kira Kant, and I work in the residential and first year programs office. Um, we are so excited to have students come back. And so I am going to talk with you today about the top five things that you should be thinking about for moving in. So I just encourage you, number one, all the communications that are coming from the college, make sure that you read them carefully. Make sure that if you have questions, you respond to places where you're directed so that we can answer them well. Um, and that you um, are prepared to come on the day that we uh, assign you and to work with your family um, or your support people in your life to help you get ready for that. The second thing is face masks. So I wanna to talk to you about face masks. You see that I have one on now and you can hear me. I think you can hear me. Um, it's very important for you to understand that face masks are required on campus now when people are back in all locations except when you're in your room. So during the move-in process, when you're checking in, when you come into the building, we need you to have a face mask on. When you get to the residence hall, we need you to have your face mask on. When you're moving in, we need you to have the face mask on. When you get into your room, you can take it off. And I know face masks, or coverings, face coverings. People have got lots of different things to think about that, but I have decided that it's kind of a fun way to show your personality, so I had one on. Here's another one that I have. Um, they're easy, easy to come on and off, and they're washable. So that's the second thing. The third thing is to think about what you wanna bring. So one of the things that um, we've articulated in the move-in process is that you have about three hours to do that, and so, we would encourage you to pack lightly this semester, to think about what you wanna to bring, to be thoughtful about things that are important to you, that you need to be successful, that also make it a home for you. Thinking about packing lightly and being prepared for um, possible changes is important. And also thinking about having a small bag of essential items so that if, um, you, know, if you need to be quarantined or isolated, that um, you can be well prepared for that ahead of time. The last two things, four and five, um, are things that I think are pretty critical to thinking about coming back to campus, and one of them is flexibility. Um, we all know that lots of things change with this pandemic every single day, and so having um, flexibility built into our, our bones is important, and I would encourage you to think about that and how, how that works for you. Um, flexibility will be important for us um, as we learn new information daily about the pandemic and about how we can be successful um, community members on campus. And finally, I would just ask you to think and remember patience. Um, we are all working very hard on campus to make sure that people in our community are safe and well, and things are different every single day. And so we, we hope that you will um, be patient with us and as we are all working together to figure out the new ways um, that we can be Gettys Virgins on campus. So again, we look forward to you coming back and um, we are excited to see you. And if you have any questions, please contact the Residence Life at gettysburg.edu email. We can respond to your questions um, quickly that way. Um, and we look forward to seeing you. Be safe and be well and travel safely. Take care, bye-bye.